I know that this is one of those videos that you're probably searching with like questions in your mind. Maybe you are pregnant, maybe you're not pregnant, but you're trying to figure it out, okay? Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jake Godbolt. Thanks for tuning in. And I know for me, when I first got pregnant for the very first time, I always looked for videos like this because the way your anxiety be set up when you are waiting on your period to come, whether it be for, you know, positive reasons, like you're trying to have a baby or, you know, maybe you're like, I'm not ready for a baby and I'm kind of freaked out. Like, either way, I hope this video is helpful for you. I hope that if you have anxiety or you are a little freaked out, I hope that this video brings you some peace and joy and just some calmness because that's what these videos did for me when I was trying to figure out whether or not I was pregnant in times when I was like scared that I might be pregnant and other times where I was excited to actually be pregnant. So in this video, I will be chatting about how I knew I was pregnant before the positive test. And I am currently pregnant for the third time, so I'm gonna be talking about every single pregnancy that I've had and how different they were because I did not have the same pregnancy symptoms or pregnancy kind of like knowing that I was pregnant each and every time. So I wanted to break this video down based on pregnancy and also just give you like a true picture of how different pregnancies can be different for literally your one body. So with my first pregnancy, with my daughter Sarai, I was 28 years old when I gave birth to her and I found out I was pregnant in late 2018. She was born in 2019. Truth be told, I honestly didn't know I was pregnant before I got the positive result. I read a bunch of things, watched a lot of videos like this, and was trying to find different symptoms for, you know, whether or not you could tell you're pregnant before you get a positive result or you, before you miss a period. And a lot of the symptoms that you can have before getting pregnant are also symptoms that you can have before getting your period. So a lot of times it can just cause a lot of like anxiety and just like worry. Save yourself because at the end of the day, if you are pregnant, you want to minimize the amount of stress that you have. So finding ways to gain some peace throughout the process of waiting for that positive or negative result is so important. And for me, my first pregnancy, I didn't know. I was kind of thinking and feeling, but I didn't know. And so really, the story for my first pregnancy is very short. I had no idea I was pregnant until literally the day before I took a test and was waiting for my period to come. I just had a feeling like something was about to change. And it wasn't necessarily a physical feeling, it was more of a, I think, spiritual feeling at the time that like, okay, something feels like it's coming to an end and something new is about to happen. And so when I took the pregnancy test and had a positive result, I was like, whoa. Like, whoa, hold on a second, whoa, I'm actually pregnant. Because listen, I've been taking a few pregnancy tests before I was actually pregnant over the years, okay? This is before I was even married, okay? And so I've been there where you're like taking a pregnancy test and hoping that it's not positive. And I've also been there where I kind of expected it to be positive. I've never been in a position where I've actually desired a positive and gotten a negative, if that makes sense. So I can't speak from that perspective. I can only speak from a, all of my pregnancies have been unplanned. And, but anyway, so with the first pregnancy, it was very like, whoa, out the blue, but also like, I kinda had a feeling the day before I took the test. Now for my second pregnancy with my son Micah, who was born just a couple years later in 2021, last year, I knew kind of leading up to getting my period that I wasn't gonna get it. I kind of had a feeling more of like, because my body was already, or had already had a baby, I kind of felt the changes in my body and was a more aware and was more aware of my body changing than I was the first time. The first time you're pregnant, you kind of don't know what's happening and so everything is new. But the second go around, you kind of know, at least your body knows what's happening. And so for me, the second time, I was kind of anticipating that I might be pregnant and was waiting on my period to come. But I also was kind of in this place where my husband and I had just gotten married a few months before. And so it was really more of a, if I am pregnant, it would be a blessing and I would feel for the first time 
actually in a position where God would approve and not have shame attached to being pregnant because even for my first pregnancy, there was some shame attached. And actually, when I first announced my pregnancy here on YouTube, I went through this whole thing of, you know, talking about how I didn't care if we were married or not and all that stuff. And listen, that I have in previous videos talked about how I learned from that and recognized as I grew spiritually and as a, a matured person that marriage is important. It's so incredibly important, not just for like what other perceive it as, other people perceive it as, because that's where I was basing it off of. Like being unmarried but living with my boyfriend and pregnant and him already having a daughter from a previous relationship and also me being a very like, I'm in my late 20s, I'm grown, I pay my own bills. Like I was very secure in myself to one extent, but at the same time felt a way about how it would be perceived. And at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. And But it, at that time when I was pregnant the first time, I was still entering into like that growth process as a person to recognize that it doesn't matter how other people perceive you it doesn't matter what other people think about your life and like the things that happen to you and the things that you choose to do like we are all responsible for ourselves and we need to focus on ourselves and what makes us happy and what we are you know just you know doing because at the end of the day it's like what does it matter about how people perceive my version of life when I got enough to worry about in my life. Like I could have and did spend a lot of time being worried about, well, what are people gonna think if, you know, I'm not married yet, we're having a baby and that's, not, you know, listen, only be worried about how God feels about it. Don't be worried about how other people feel about it. So that's what I'm gonna say about that. So when I got pregnant the second time, I felt better in the sense of I had spiritually grown a bit. I was also married at the time. And yeah, it just was not necessarily a surprise, but definitely we were in the process of like knowing that we wanted another child. So I had previously had the IUD actually after I had my daughter and literally got it taken out maybe a month before I got pregnant with my son. So when we got it taken out, we made the conscious decision to take out the birth control so that we could potentially get pregnant again. Pregnant again. We just didn't know it was gonna happen that fast. So <laughs> just FYI out there, <laughs> as soon as you get that IUD taken out, <laughs> it's home. <laughs> but then again, everyone is different and everyone's fertility experience and journey is different. I'm just speaking from my own personal experience. So that was my second pregnancy. Now my third pregnancy has been a very different experience. And because I had done all the research and all this, you know, searching and reading and watching of the videos and the blogs and all that stuff for my first two pregnancies trying to figure it out, I kind of already knew uh, certain things that like, if this happens, it means that kind of thing, right? But even before that, okay, so let me start from the beginning. So literally y'all, I knew the day we conceived that we were gonna be pregnant. And literally I told my husband, Mark, after, afterwards, I was like, God wants us to have a baby. And I didn't think about that. I didn't, literally, it was just the Holy Spirit speaking through me in that moment, I just knew. And so with that being said, I kind of already had it in my mind, like this is happening. And then two weeks later, I legitimately had implantation bleeding, which if you haven't heard of implantation bleeding, it is uh, like light spotting that you can have like seven to 14 days after conception that can be like a preview of like, essentially it, it happens for some women my first two pregnancies, I did not have implantation bleeding, but I knew of it, right? And so when I had it, you know, it was in the middle of the month and my period was not supposed to come for another like couple weeks. So I knew it wasn't my period because I only saw like the little bit of blood in the toilet when I, you know, urinated in the morning and when I wiped. And so I was like, I'm pregnant. 
I'm pregnant. Like, I'm pregnant. I do it. But, like, you know, it's a different thing when you can physically see it. And so I was like, I'm pregnant. And so I actually told Mark, like, hey, implantation bleeding. I'm pregnant. And he was like, wait, what? I was like, yeah. Because he was like, and you even said it. Like, that night. I was like, I know. Because I literally knew. And... Again, it wasn't that I knew physically that night because you can't tell when you conceive a baby. You just, you can't. So like, I didn't do anything different. We didn't do anything different. It wasn't anything physical that I knew. It was more of a spiritual knowing that like, okay, here we go. And so when the, I saw the implantation bleeding, it was more of a like physical manifestation. Like this is the physical evidence of like, yeah, there, there's a baby coming. Okay, and even then, you know, I took a picture of it because I knew, like, I need to document this in case it is, you know, what I think it is. And then two weeks later, I'm waiting on my period the day my period is supposed to come. Mind you, I have not had a regular period in almost two and a half years by this point because I've been pregnant or nursing or whatever. So, and I nursed my daughter for 14 months. Had the IUD taken out and got pregnant the next month. So, like, literally it's been a straight, you know, and then was pregnant and nursing for six months. So, literally, you know, we talking two, almost two and a half years of me either being pregnant or nursing, not having regular periods. And literally, I stopped nursing my son when he was six months old. And the next month is when I got pregnant. And so, literally... I was expecting my period to come this certain day and it didn't come so that day I was like okay let me go ahead and take this test and took the test and it was positive like immediately like it was no it was literally two lines like immediately so I was like okay like I mean I already knew and already had the physical evidence like but now it's like really real. I really know like I've got to be at least four weeks and like that was the start of the process. And you know, the rest is history. I started to figure out how I wanted to do my prenatal care and my, you know, uh, my, my delivery and all that kind of stuff. And if you have seen my uh, water birth video of Micah um, from last year, then you know that I worked with a midwife and a birth center uh, here in Dallas for that experience and I loved it so much. And this time I actually have gotten into an even slightly more natural route, which is I am working with one midwife um, who is pretty much doing all of, my, all of my prenatal care at home. And we're also doing our birth at home. God willing. And so we are planning to do a water birth again. And we are having another little boy. I've shared this news kind of like sparingly um, on Instagram and here and there with friends um, and, and family. But I am officially telling y'all here we're having another boy. So yay, yay, yay for another boy. Uh, I am due this fall, late fall. Um, so I'm super excited to just like bring y'all along this journey and kind of just like doing more of these types of videos where I'm giving you an inside experience of what my, you know, what my take on pregnancy has been, kind of like the do's and don'ts of it, and not necessarily do's and don'ts, but more of like what's worked for me and what hasn't worked for me, but also I, I'm making it a mission for these videos to really not just inspire you or whatever, but to really bring you know, peace and joy and calmness and just comfort because I know that pregnancy and motherhood is such a delicate and, and, and just sensitive journey for so many of us, especially um, if you are struggling with, with just conceiving and trying to find just hope in it. And there's so many aspects of pregnancy and motherhood that are are so precious and so if anything my mission with all of my mama jade content is to bring comfort and to bring just um 
trade in negative feelings and thoughts for positive ones, <laughs> really, truly. So I hope this video did that for you, gave you a little bit more background because honestly, sometimes we can overcomplicate the process. Like we think that it's gonna be all these different signs and all these different things, but honestly, y'all, for me, there was very limited, if any, signs prior to a positive pregnancy test of me being pregnant, like physically. Um, the spiritual aspect of it is totally different. And so for me, just having that relationship with God has actually, br has actually brought me a lot of peace in this, in this pregnancy especially. And so I think that's why I'm also in a space now to be able to like talk more about it and be more open about different experiences that I've had and things that I've learned along the way, you know? So yeah, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions or concerns or wanna share your pregnancy, how did you know you were pregnant before you got the positive pregnancy test result, definitely comment down below. That's always like the place that I go whenever I watch videos like this is like, okay, what did other people say as well? Like, you know, let's continue the conversation down below because you never know how you can give someone else peace by just like being transparent about like your testimony and your journey and for me i can speak from like a real place that like when i read other women's stories of like how they knew they were pregnant what their pregnancies were like it brought me so much relief because you know the internet is a crazy place and sometimes when we're pregnant talking even to people around us other other people that are you know just maybe had traumatic pregnancy experiences or just negative aspects just listen i get it a lot of people have opinions and sometimes you just want to go to a place where things feel safe and positive and you know you can do things and navigate people's testimonies on your own terms and so that's what i'm really praying happens in these comments in all these videos but truly um in this video especially because i know <laughs> when you wait to figure out whether or not you're pregnant or not it can be very stressful very anxious a lot of emotions how are you gonna prepare if you are you know the the disappointment if you're not all those things so i definitely um Definitely hope that if you're watching this, that this video just brings you some peace. And stay tuned for more Mama Jade content. Of course, if you are looking for me on social, I am Jade Godbolt on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter, on all the things. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.